found a profession that I dearly love, that I've been in since 1967. In all of those years, I have never once not wanted to go to work. Every day is different, every day is a challenge, every day is exciting. It's also hard work. I'm Bill Westwood. I'm a board certified medical illustrator. Um, I have a studio in Albany, New York, and I've been here since 1990. Medical illustrators do anatomical, surgical, and other types of scientific illustration for uh, a variety of clients, a wide variety of clients. I had never heard of medical illustration. I was in undergraduate school at, at a liberal arts college in Georgia, Mercer University, and I was had decided to minor in art uh, because honestly I didn't see any way to make a living in art. To minor in art, I had to take a design course. I had no interest in design. Uh, I should have taken more interest, but I, I got a C in the course, and I was furious. I mean, all through high school and all through college up to that point, I had been sort of, you know, one of those golden boys, you know, I, because I could draw and paint very well and realistically. So I went charging over to her office after I saw my grade, and I was going to, you know, give her the whatever, and she was really nice. We talked about my interest, and she said, you know, why don't you look into something like medical illustration? And I said, I've never heard of medical illustration. You know, what is it? I'm at the end of my sophomore year in college, uh, just about to finish, and I figured, what have I got to lose? So I was talking to the head of the art department. Turns out he had had a former student who had become a medical illustrator. Turns out there was one of only four graduate programs in the country that was located about two hours north of where I was in Augusta, Georgia. And he said, I can arrange for you to go up there if you want to go look into it. So I said, why? What have I, why not? What have I got to lose? And I walked in, and I was given a tour, and I saw what these people were doing. And literally, literally, within a matter of a couple of hours, my mind was totally blown, and I said, this is what I've got to do. I was just struck, you know. They accepted only four students a year, people that were excelling in both art, and you had to excel in science. And I have never worked so hard in my life as I did those last two years of college. So that's how I got interested, that's how I got in, and um, that, that one day changed my life. That, actually, that one teacher, that one design teacher changed my life. I, would I don't even recall her name. I would love to see her today and say thank you so much. The typical process for creating a medical illustration, it's that research, that understanding the project, and then I start working out my thumbnails. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to show the skin, I'm going to want to show something going into that. Once I get this laid out, I'll put my sketch in the scanner, and I drag it over here and open it in Photoshop. It's just like I'm using the old traditional airbrush. You want to come up with something, if you can, that's original, that is informative, that's interesting, and sometimes there's just a way to show something that's better than someone else, than anyone else has ever done it before. This was a uh, magazine cover on uh, alternative treatments. This flower is a St. John's wort. Uh, this is a synapse of a nerve, and you see the representations of the nerves up there. Now, about 99% of what I do is medical legal. Attorneys tend to be verbal people, and they feel like that they can persuade anybody verbally and explain anything they need to explain verbally. Well, the reality is you can do it a lot better with art. I've really gotten interested in it. I've gotten interested in the whole idea of being able to create uh, accurate, 
educational and persuasive images that teach people about somebody's injuries, that teach people about somebody's surgeries. It is extremely fulfilling. Otherwise, at, at this stage of my career, I wouldn't still be doing it. I have no plans to retire. Medical illustration is, is my life. Thank you.